Now do bear in mind that there are 18 of them and we only have six. So I am a bit dubious about whether we'll be able to, you know, pull this off, but we do have, well, three cavalry, kind of, technically, sort of, maybe four, and uh, the rest of us obviously are not really going to survive, I don't think, but yeah, blunt, blunt lance, we have a blunt lance, everyone, so this should be pretty fun. Hello reformers and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now when we left off we participated in some very large battles and as a result have gained quite a few levels. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending our points into intelligence here. I'd like to get a little bit more in pathfinding and do we want to go for some more in inventory management or do we want to do some more in leadership or trade or something along those lines. Probably more in power draw if I am honest, because we are going to need to be able to use those beastly bows as time goes on. So let's just put our proficiency points into that as well. And finally, I have arrived at the village so we can hunt down this fellow for Lord Eric. I was about to say, let's hunt down Lord Eric. No, no, we don't need to do that, do we? No, certainly not. Now, I do have six people in my army still because obviously in the previous episode we had a bit of a mishap, shall we say, and we now have two Rangers of the Clarion Call. And what I've done with those is I have told them, or shall we say I've gone into my camp menu and gone into the Pendor options and just enabled the Horse Archer fix, which basically means that Horse Archers are going to use their bows, and they're not going to run in, you know, just hacking and slashing randomly. So it's going to be a lot easier for them to survive against basically everyone, unless obviously they get unlucky and just get murdered by some heretic Magnus or whatever the case may be. So I have spotted the nervous man, and he is no doubt the fellow we are looking for. There he is. There we go. All right. So now what am I going to use against him? I haven't actually fought anyone without my lance up to this point, which is kind of amusing. But anyway, I am looking for the murderer by the name of blah, blah, blah. Yes, whatever his name may be. Ramar. Ramar is his name. I really just need your head anyway. All right. So I'm going to wait until he draws his sword because I don't want to want to be, um, you know, dishonorable or anything. Whoa, that was a nice, that was a nice dodge on his part right there. Get out of the way, villager. There's a, there's a battle going on here. Does he not see? It seems like he doesn't, or he just doesn't care. Maybe he's just so powerful he doesn't care whether we are fighting. Ah, oh, well, never mind. We were able to dispatch the ruffian, and we now have finally <laughs> succeeded in completing the quest. All right, so I don't know where Lord Eric actually is at the moment, but I do know that there was a Fiedsvein vassal around here somewhere, and we traveled all the way up here and, well, finally made it to the to the village. But, yeah, I talked to the Fiedsvein vassal, by the way, this time not being beset upon by them in a battle situation. And I was able to talk to him and he said, Hey, uh, yeah, if you want peace, you better give us 2,900 gold. And I was just like, ah, oh, really? That's not very good. No, it's not very good for us, is it? Anyway, Brother Randolph, hello. What goods do you have? Ah, he's the book merchant, so let's have a look here. Ah, he is the fellow that will show us where the Mines of Alaziz is. I actually tried to punch him for some reason, but anyway, let's see if we can... Do I have anyone to sell? No, I don't think I have any prisoners, but I would like to hear about this. This is talking about the Brotherhood. Oh. Uh, no, uh, well, okay, well, never mind. I ran into a young hunter named Dahan Tendar after sundown yesterday who informed me of a piece of gossip about Knights of the Dawn. When he was walking home a handful of nights ago, he heard a Knight of Dawn say that before long, Astrea will come to Pendor and cleanse it of its sins via the Knights of Dawn. His own family was slaughtered by bandits, but in a world governed by Astraea, villains like that will burn before they can ever take up a sword. Well, thank you very much for that wonderful piece of information. Unfortunately, still not being given the location of the Brotherhood hideout. However, I might be able to do that here. No, never mind. He's talking 
Oh, he's talking about the Knights of the Dawn once again. However, he was instead talking about a Feared's Vein clansman with a fiery beard. Ah, unfortunately, a Knight of Dawn overheard and misunderstood. He immediately began slaughtering nearby Feared's Veiners to purge them of their heretical practice of sacrificing their beards to the gods of flame. Ah, uh, I see. We've got some amusing, <laughs> amusing rumors going on here as well. Anyway. That will be fine for now. I'm going to just sell these bolts. Going to keep this just in case, should I? Actually, that's not even worth it. Let's just sell that light leather and everything, and then we can continue onward. Now, what we're going to do is, because I don't really have a very good relation with the Fierds Vein at the moment, what I'm going to try to do instead is I'm going to go to Senderfall, and I'm going to try and trade in iron. So I'm going to buy some iron there for a cheap price, hopefully, and then we'll sell it somewhere else. Now, what I would like to do otherwise is go to Rain and pick up a wonderful potion, or shall we say, pick up a Qualis gem to trade for a potion at the other merchant. Not this guy, not the one that sells the map, but the other one that gives the potions that increase your strength, agility, etc. by a certain amount. And that is going to be my main plan for the moment. Ooh, this uh, this is not particularly good. Okay, so these guys have a rogue Blackheart Squire in their party. So this might be a bit bad for us, but we're going to try it nevertheless because this is probably going to give us a decent amount of renown. Actually, not that much. Hmm. Only three? I'm kind of surprised by that. I'm going to try and take this guy off his horse. Oh, that was close. Wow, that was really, really close. I was very, very worried there for a second. I thought to myself, my days are numbered. My days are certainly numbered. But no, no, I seem to have been able to survive at least a little bit longer. And uh, let's see if I can just continue to eliminate their brigands. Yes, take this. Take my long rod in your face. That is what we like to see, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. There's another nice couch right there. And a sofa as well. Yes. Oh, oh I was real hopeful that I would be able to take that guy out with just a regular thrust. But I doubt that's going to happen. He's probably actually going to try and take me out with a lance. As you can see here, he seems to be doing a pretty decent job of tracking us. But I'm going to try and take him out like this. Oh, I got shot in the back. That was not good at all. All right. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. All right, so where's the, where's the, oh, there he is. Ah, he's trying to take us out. Okay, so Rangers of the Clarion Call, I would very much appreciate it if you could actually start doing something now. As you can see, ah, oh, there we go. They actually did eliminate the enemy Lancer. So this is going to be pretty easy now, I think, unless I get shot in the face, which might very well happen. As you can see, it is, it is very likely. We are doing a lot of damage, however, with our wonderful thrusts. So I don't think we have to worry about it too much, but I do need to be a bit cautious. Ooh, there we go. We took out the last remaining ranged unit, at least the last one that's deciding to use his bow. There we go. Take him out. Nice. All right, so that's actually pretty decent. We got 13 kills. Just us. Bear tilt. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, three Renal, seven Morale, and unfortunately he did get killed. The rogue Blackheart Squire would have been pretty awesome to take him prisoner, but, well, you know how it is. Sometimes that doesn't happen. But the cool thing about this is that we're going to be able to take a huge amount of loot that we're going to be able to sell for a pretty decent amount, and hopefully that is going to cover most of the cost of the iron that we're going to be investing in. And that is it. There we go. And we can also take that brigand. We'll take the refugee here just to help us out a little bit. And then we're going to hit head onward. And oh, did I actually level up? Apparently I leveled up. Okay, fantastic. Let's level, our, let's level our intelligence a little bit more. Maybe we want to go for some trainer skill. But at the moment, maybe that's not the best idea. So I think instead we're going to go for trade because we are going to need to trade that iron and various other things for a pretty significant amount. We're also going to go for some more weapon master here because I certainly am going to need as much archery proficiency as possible and as quickly as possible. So hopefully once we actually do gain a bow, it is going to make a pretty big difference to how easily we are able to use it and how quickly we're going to be able to gain some kind of efficiency with it and be able to kill things because otherwise 
it's probably going to be a bit difficult for us to do that. But did you see? Did you see our wonderful horse archers in action? They were actually doing a pretty decent job. I actually thought that they were kind of slacking a little bit, but they were actually firing away from a pretty decent distance, and that was, of course, causing them to be extremely safe, which I didn't think they really needed to do, but it was okay, because they did give us that support that we required overall, so not too bad. And we have now arrived at Senderfall. So let us go and speak to the merchant. 223, really? That's actually seeming like quite a bit. Hmm. Well, let's listen closely and attempt to, well, divulge the best prices. Buying iron here and selling it anywhere else. Uh, Valenbray is apparently the best, but that's obviously not going to work for us because Valenbray is indeed a Fiordsvane town as far as I'm aware. Let me just, yep, let me just confirm that. It's been a while since I've taken a look at the geography of Pendor. So otherwise, yeah, we're just going to be selling this probably at rain or something like that. But obviously these things are not exactly fantastic in terms of the amount of profit you're going to be gaining. So... Maybe we're going to have to check and see if iron can be bought elsewhere. Maybe one of the villages that we're going to be passing by or something along those lines might actually make more sense. That's actually a pretty nice shield. Huh. I should probably use that. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Hmm, wait a minute. I should probably give that to Kasim as well, shouldn't I? Give my old shield to Kasim. That seems like a better idea. All right, so let's buy some cabbages and some grain and... I think maybe some sausages as well. There we go. And now we're going to buy the iron. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. Seven pieces of iron should be okay. We only have to pay 256 for all of that now. Ah, and we also have another companion here that I'd very much appreciate being able to recruit. 1,500. Yes, there we go. That was, that was pretty good. Okay, so Julia and Adonia are also here, so we're probably not going to be taking them because I kind of need to save the cash for a very specific reason, getting other companions. And uh, I have a, a couple of companions actually in mind at the moment that I'd very much like to kind of save for. And, uh, well, Kasim was basically just a, a kind of a whim, really. I mean, he was right there, he was kind of cheap, and I decided, hey, you know what, let's uh, <laughs> let's just get him in the party a little bit here. But uh, yeah, in general, I probably wouldn't have gotten him if he wasn't there. I probably would have just been like, well, I'm not going to search for Kasim, that's for sure. But anyway, we're going to now move on to Ravenstone. Maybe there's going to be a bandit party that we can fight along the way, and maybe that's going to give our companions some much needed experience. I don't exactly know whether Kasim did a reasonable job in the previous fight. I think he was eliminated pretty easily, so, well, I, I guess you can kind of assume that that's going to happen more often than not, because they don't really have the best gear when they first start out, so let's just, you know, try to level up their combat skills, and in the case of our new companion, we're going to try and level up her agility as much as possible. Otherwise, let's try to get over to Ravenstone and ask, oh yeah, I actually did forget to go into the tavern and look around for a ransom broker slash traveler because we do need to ask for rumors as much as possible. So that was a bit of an error on my part, but it's okay because we actually do have another one right here. Nope. Okay, apparently she's not willing to tell me anything. That's kind of a shame. Ah, there's a there's an archer right there. Might be pretty cool to get, and that's a that's a that's a companion as well. I was hopeful that I might be able to find a traveler because that's a ransom broker right there. So maybe a traveler would be here somewhere. No, doesn't seem like that's the case. All right, so let's sell this. Mm, we can sell this for about a hundred, which is actually not that bad. So maybe we want to do that. Do we want to sell that for 100? Maybe we do. Uh, 100 profit. Okay, well, let's just sell two of them here because there are slight diminishing returns when it comes to selling things. And let's go to Rain and we'll sell the rest there. Ah, there's some... Bri oh, never mind. Uh, Lord Chonrad was able to get over those brigands very, very quickly and indeed take them out. I was hopeful that I might be able to get some additional loot because you saw how much money we were able to gain actually from 
just fighting those brigands. So that was pretty good. Treasure Seekers, hello there. You're following me, aren't you? They have hero adventurers, regular adventurers, and rogue Blackheart knights and squires. They're certainly someone we don't want to mess with. So let me just get into the marketplace as soon as possible. We'll sell that for 1500 and that seems pretty decent. Is there a um, is there a lance here that I can maybe get? Uh, I'm still I'm still looking for that blunt lance because I think that's probably going to be oh blunt and lance. There we go. Okay, so that is pretty fantastic because as you can see here, it actually has a much longer weapon reach than our current one, and it also does blunt damage, which is exactly what we want to see. So I'm going to try and buy this. But unfortunately, I don't have enough money. Are you serious right now? I do not have enough money. Maybe I can sell... Uh, I can't even sell these things. I mean, I could sell this, but I was saving this for one of our companions. I mean, I could sell this. That's obviously going to make a difference, isn't it? But what was I actually doing here again? Yes, I want to get the Qualys gem. Ah... Uh. Well, okay, fine, I'm going to do it, literally going to do it, just because a blunt tip lance is going to be fantastic now. Because every single unit we couch against is going to die, obviously, because of the couch damage, and if they're a heavy armor user, it's going to be even better. But then from there, it's just going to be fantastic, because we'll be able to sell all of the prisoners that we gain from the blunt damage, and that is going to be good. Anyway, let's go into the tavern here and see if we can find any... Oh, there is a fantastic companion. Hmm. I would like to get him, actually. I would like to get him a lot. So I might need to go into the arena and see what I can do there. Because, obviously, the arena, that's basically the only way we're going to be able to earn any money without the time advancing and basically making it impossible for us to get that companion. So I'm going to try and do the arena here. And actually, I'm not going to cut away for the first one, but for the next couple, we're going to cut away for that. And I'll do that off screen. I just want to see whether I'm going to be able to do a reasonable. Are you serious now? Come on. I right, come on, Bear Tilt. You can do it. Can he? Wow, this, this, this seems like one of those times when I'm literally just going to be unable to do anything, and it seems like I'm going to get unlucky in general. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. But these these are just untrained fighters. I should be doing much better against them, but I suppose I have only had a staff and a two-handed sword in the previous two arenas, so that could be the reason why we are indeed having some issues here, but... I think we should be fine as long as I can get used to it a little bit quicker. We've eliminated seven so far. There are 28 to go now. Maybe I should just go for an overhead. Start it with an overhead? Yeah, I guess starting it with an overhead is probably going to be the way to go because you are going to get a little bit of extra damage hitting the head, are you? I don't know, really. Because obviously without a helmet, they I mean, they don't have armor in general, so that doesn't really make too much difference, but... I am taking a little bit of damage here and there, which is never a good sign. But I do have a shield, which is going to make things a lot easier. Uh, I really just need to survive this time around, because if I don't survive, we're only going to gain 500 dinars in comparison to 2,000. So it would be very advantageous if I can just prevent myself from taking any additional damage. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, this is when bad things are going to happen because I've now lost my shield. And I was just saying, oh, I've got a shield at least. Yes, that's that's not great. Maybe I should try and pick up a two-handed sword or something. Heavy practice sword. There's one. Yes, give me that. Okay, I'm being shot at, which is not great. Could you Could you just not do that? That would be very, very, very nice of you. Oh, okay. Okay, Le be a little bit careful. Wow, yeah, now this is this is what I'm talking about. So now what we can do is we can literally just go with some wonderful overheads and kill them almost in one hit, usually. Oh, that was a quick, quick strike from him right there. Oh, you coming in there? Are you serious? You're just seriously coming in there at the at the at the end, and then just being like, "Oh yeah, coming in there." Okay, come on now. How much do we need? 
Ah, uh, I was like, how much do we need for Lethal Durin? Yeah, we need, what, 6,000 I think we need? Well, there's 500. I'm going to try and get a couple more wins. Alright, so you meet me when I've just eliminated 100% of the enemies so far in this arena round. And this is obviously going to be a pretty... Well, pretty decent achievement because usually the, you know, the AI does tend to kind of kill each other a little bit at the beginning of these arena fights. And it would be pretty cool if we could take out absolutely all of them without any of them getting kills on each other. So let's see if I can actually make that happen. It's probably not going to, let's face it, you know, it's me, but, you know, we'll see whether that is indeed possible at the moment. I mean, right now I am fighting tooth and nail, and they are going to start fighting each other a little bit, which is not... Ah, there we go. There's the, there's the, there's the decisive blow right there, but there's only one enemy remaining, and, uh, well, as you can see, I almost killed all 40 enemies by myself, and that would have been pretty cool. But, anyway, there's 2,000, another 2,000 for us right there. Actually, not too much has happened since last time. I did do a couple of rounds, but I wasn't able to get past 15, 20 kills, unfortunately, because one of the times I actually gained a bow, I was able to kill about 20, 25 enemies with just the bow because some of them, well, most of them, spawn without a shield. And it was pretty easy. <laughs> pretty easy to get headshots with that bow, but otherwise, not really able to go much further than that once a uh, an enemy spawned with a shield. Anyway, we're going to go in here and I'm going to try and see if I can get that Qualys gem and maybe we can then find Phineas and then we will be able to trade our Qualys gem for a wonderful potion and that is going to give us a pretty decent stat boost at the moment i think that could be pretty good so we're probably going to try and do that if we can there's the qualis gem and now all i need to do is wait here for a little bit make sure that i'm not going to get killed by those fellows and uh yeah then we're gonna i i think we're probably gonna hop over to Poinsbrook. that's probably going to be the next stopover Alright, so I came across, on the way to Poinsbrook, this battle of uh, this Mist Mountain warrior band fighting with some nearby villagers, I think, and before I was able to intercept them, the Mist Mountain warriors were able to kill the villagers. So, let's see if we can take these guys on. Now, do bear in mind that there are 18 of them, and we only have 6. So I am a bit dubious about whether we'll be able to, you know, pull this off. But we do have, well, three cavalry, kind of, technically, sort of, maybe four. And uh, the rest of us, obviously, are not really going to survive, I don't think. But, yeah, blunt, blunt lance. We have a blunt lance, everyone. So this should be pretty fun to see what, actually what goes on here. Because if I'm able to take some of these mounted units prisoner... <laughs> that guy just got absolutely murdered by that ranger right there, but yeah, so if, I, if I'm able to take more than just these robbers prisoner, or at the very least take them out, then I think we're going to be in a pretty decent position to sell them for a lot of cash. So hopefully we'll be able to make that happen. I'm not entirely sure. Where, where's the other guy? Ah, there he is. Is that, is that the other Mist Mountain warrior guy? It doesn't look like him. Huh. Am, am I missing him, or is he, is he literally chasing me? Doesn't seem like it. That's a bit weird. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, there we go. We took out one of them. Fantastic. All right. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen there. And maybe we could tell our people just to charge in, actually. That might make sense. Because the rangers are obviously pretty fantastic. And, uh, well, taking... Well, making good use of them would probably be the best idea for us at the moment. And Kasim, now he has a shield, is actually going to be pretty decent himself. As you can see, he actually just gained a kill. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. Okay, now let's see if I can actually take this guy out, because he is going to sell for the most money. Ah, He just had to go up the hill, didn't he? He just had to go up the hill and get killed by Sara. That is just pretty crazy, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh well, never mind. I, I, I kind of feel like I need to give my companions blunt weapons, just so that they can take more prisoners for me. I think that would be pretty awesome. Anyway, four renown for us right there, and we managed to survive. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, our looting skill is going to come in hugely handy here, especially considering these boots 
are better for walking than what I was previously using. Anyway, I'm going to take all of this and wait a minute. I think I've just spotted two weapons that our companions can potentially make good use of. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in to their inventories in just a second. I'm thinking I'm probably going to take this sword away and I'm going to take that helmet instead because I have a feeling that both of them could certainly use a bit of an upgrade in that regard. I think they both, yep, they do not have helms. So it would make sense for us to do something with them like that. So let's see if I can do the Pendor recruit right there. There we go. All right. So yeah, I can't, I haven't given up on recruiting Lethal Durham, but it is literally just because I don't really want to spend all of the time at the arena. I'd rather do other things like this, for example, getting our other companions kitted out in some pretty decent gear. But don't worry, I'm actually going to go back in just a second after we have taken a look at Poinsbrook and we're going to do something with Lethal Durin there. Anyway, I'm going to... Hmm, should I remove her throwing knives or should I just... I think I'm just going to remove her general equipment for the most part. Does she not have anything in shield? Well, I suppose Kasim doesn't have anything in shield either, so that is not anything to be too surprised about. Does she have enough to wear this? Yes, she does. Very nice. There we go. And I should probably give Kasim a horse, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should probably give him a horse. Wait a minute. I don't have a helm. Ha. Huh. Yes, I was actually thinking to myself, let me give my companions a helm because I have a helm. But no, apparently I did not have a helm. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, so let's give Kasim this other mace right here. And we'll also give him this horse. Now, we do have some arrows here for him, but they are minus two which is not very good, and we don't actually have a bow for him anyway, so it's kind of pointless, but yeah, he has a pretty decent shield, and I can sell the rest of this loot easily enough, so that's not too bad. I think we actually have enough. Should we just go back to rain real quick and see whether I can get Lethal Durin? I think that might make sense. Ooh, there's some more Mist Mountain Outcasts. That would be pretty cool. By the way, along the way here, I did actually see a Jatu Warband, and they have about 40 units, and we know that the Jatu can be extremely powerful, so I'd like to try and avoid those guys, if at all possible. That would be pretty nice. Anyway, let's go in here and sell our loot, and that should give us enough to actually get Lethal Durin, I think so, at least. So let's just sell all of this and that and this and that, and there we go. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to keep these boots because we want to give that to one of our companions. And we're going to go into the tavern. Hopefully he's still here. Cross fingers. Yes, he is. But has he increased in price since the previous version? Let's see if that is indeed the case. Mm, okay, 6,000. There we go. Yep, we're going to take him. We're going to take him. Now, usually what I'd say is it's probably not a good idea to invest so much in a companion this early on in the game because generally you want to get some enterprises up and running. But personally, I feel like Lethal Durin is going to help us so much more by winning battles and in general giving us trainer skill as well. So if we ever do get a whole bunch of low-level recruits or whatever, his trainer skill is going to be insanely good. And on top of that, he's just a really good killer. Anyway, let's take a look here. When he was looking for shelter a few days past in the afternoon, he said he was taking in some air last night when he saw a group of people moving swiftly and silently past him in the darkness. They seemed to be heading in the general direction of town. The only sound he heard was the distant yowling of a mountain cat, which reminds me, I have an opportunity to discuss. 17 Barclay Aventuros. Okay. 17? Is, is, that, is that cheap? I, I don't exactly know because I haven't really used Barclay units that much. But they, oh, they are the lowest level. Okay, they are the lowest level. But now that we've just gained Lethal Durin, who should, in my opinion, from my, my memory, have a huge amount of trainer skill. Does he? No, he has zero, because we haven't leveled him up at all. And, well, apparently in my previous saves, I was just like, let's level up his trainer skill, because he's probably going to be really good at that. And he was. He was pretty good at that, because he is level 42. He's not the best trainer in the game, but 
I think it's it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. These guys are going to level up pretty easily anyway. And they are going to become some pretty decent units eventually. It's just going to take a bit of time for that to happen. Anyway, let's go back to Poinsbrook now and see if we can find a couple of bandits to test our metal on, actually, because we were able to pretty easily beat a, uh, well, 18 strong bandit party. And these guys are a little bit different. These guys do have two bear claw berserkers. And let's just say that we know what bear claw berserkers are like. They are very deadly indeed. And if we get too close to them, then we're going to have some issues. So yeah, you can see here that our battle advantage, even though we have the numbers advantage, is minus two. I'm just going to tell everyone to charge in because that's basically all I can do. I'm going to try and see if I can find where are the bear claw berserkers. Are they actually? Oh, there they are. There's one of them at least. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and charge at one of them. And completely miss, apparently. Yep, yeah, get him! Ah, that was not good. That was not good enough. Okay, what about this? That was also not good enough. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, well, it seems like this fellow is certainly going to survive my attention at the moment. And let me just say that these Bear Claw Berserkers are going to murder every single one of our Barkley Aventuros if we allow it. And there's not much I can do about it. There's literally not much I can do about it right now because we are fighting on such bad terrain. It is awful. It is, it is, it is absolutely awful. If we're able to take one of these guys prisoner, however, which... Ooh, I was able to do 23 damage with a thrust. Oh, never mind. Oh well, never mind. Yes, they killed him. Well, that is to be expected. I mean, hmm. yeah, I pr you know what I probably should have done? I probably should have told my people to hold position further back away from the enemy. And then I might have had an opportunity to couch lance at one of these bear claw berserkers. And that probably would have resulted in a, well, in a prisoner. And that would have also resulted in about 800 gold. Or I seem to remember that those guys sell for a huge amount. Not entirely sure whether it's 800 or 500 or something along those lines, but a couple of hundred at least. So, yeah, that's it's kind of a shame that I squandered that. But, on the other hand, most of our Barkley Aventuros did get a huge amount of kills. So, I guess that's a good thing. That is certainly a good thing. We did get a little bit of renown as well. And yeah, we lost six of those guys. I mean, that was to be expected. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's exactly also what I'm talking about because look at this. We have some Barkley plate and leather here that we can wear at strength 15. And we also have this for one of our companions when they get to that point. And we also have a bunch of horses which are going to help our speed on the main map. And this shield is fantastic. Well, I think it... Well, okay, that's a that's kind of weird. I actually thought this was going to be much better than what we had previously, but apparently not. Anyway, we're just going to take that anyway, and there we go. Okay, what we can probably do is give one of these shields to Sara, because I think she could probably use it. And there we go. And now we'll just take the... Oh, we did actually get one of the Bear Claw Berserkers as a prisoner. Nice. Okay, that's actually going to come in mighty handy at the next Ransom Broker. That's for sure. So let me just take the rest of these from the Rescued Prisoner stack. And then we'll go into... Oh, hello there. There seems to be a Jatu Warband right on the town of Poinsbrook. So I'm probably going to need to do a little bit of a dance to get these guys away from here. But otherwise, I'm going to go into Poinsbrook and see if there's a ransom broker. But otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.